Hello, uh, welcome to this tutorial uh, on our pastor bow. Our pastor bow uh, is a powerful uh, web-based tool for querying and extracting data from OpenStreetMap, also known as OSM. With over pastor bow, uh, you can extract features like roads, buildings, parks, and more, all tailored to your needs. Uh, whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, WebRepress Turbo has tools that make data extraction simple and efficient. Uh, in this video, I will uh, guide you through uh, understanding the WebRepress Turbo interface, uh, running queries to download specific features, and also filtering data to retrieve only what you need, uh, for example, um, there are different features um, that are available in uh, OSM and if you are interested like roads or buildings then you may be interested only in specific types of roads or specific types of buildings or specific types of other types of features so um, that is the third point that uh, we'll be addressing in, in this video um, let's get started um, I'll give you some explanation about uh, the interface. Uh, when you open Overpass, uh, just you can open it like um, yeah uh, in, in any browser, uh, which is https uh, over uh, overpass .turbo .eu or then uh, you'll get this this interface. Um, when you open uh, Overpass Turbo, you will see a clean and straightforward interface, uh, as you may see here. And let me explain its key components of this interface. Uh, the main map area is this one. Uh, this is a map display where you can navigate and explore the region you are interested in. Uh, use the, your mouse or uh, touchpad uh, to pan around. You can pan around like this uh, and zoom in and out to adjust your views. You can zoom in and zoom out uh, to adjust the views uh, to adjust your uh, specific study area. The map will display the results of your queries, uh, highlighting the features you extract. Then after querying uh, during, yeah, we'll see, we'll have a look at that later. Uh, you'll be querying just uh, overpass turbo will help you to carry the features and then uh, it will uh, highlight those selected uh, features on the map display here uh, we also have uh, the query editor this part of the interface and, uh, this is uh, where you write uh, or load your, your overpass queries the queries are loaded here or you write your query here. Uh, if you are a beginner, don't worry, there is a wizard tool here. This is a wizard tool um, to simplify things and um, I will show you how to use it shortly. Uh, if you are an advanced user, you can write your own scripts here or uh, the, just you may not also need to do that uh, insofar as the wizard also helps you to extract features of your interest. But if you are going to do like complex um, um, queries, then you can uh, uh, use uh, the editor directly. Uh, then this wizard, if I click here, um, is a feature that lets you create queries using plain text. Uh, it is just you use a plain text. For example, you can type uh, building, like you can type building. Um, then, by by writing this plain text, um, uh, you can um, sel select the feature. You can search for uh, all buildings that are available within that given uh, zoom level or within that given study area that you are interested in. And the wizard will convert it into a proper overpass query. Then automatically it converts it to uh, a proper overpass uh, query. That's how it works. I'll show you how, how we are going to do that. Then um, 
uh, map view controls. There are some map view controls here. You can zoom in, you can uh, zoom out, for example, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, then uh, you can also locate yourself. You can uh, zoom to data and uh, also you can toggle wide map like if you click here, then you can, you can have a look at uh, the wider map. Um, there are also options for selecting, uh, just we'll see this later, uh, for selecting a B-box. Then you can draw a box here and show your um, interest, uh, just, just your study, interest, uh, study area. So that the extraction of the features will be limited within the, that box that you provide. Uh, the output panel here, just the map will show you those selected features and uh, at the same time you can also have a look at uh, the data, that is uh, the, the data set available. The, then this, this part of uh, the interface provides you information about um, the, the data set that uh, you selected, that are selected on the map. So you can have detailed information about these, these maps, these uh, features. Uh, we have uh, yeah we have the export uh, button here. The, once you have retrieved your data, you can uh, use the export button in the top right corner in this in this in this part of the interface uh, to save it in various formats like uh, GeoJSON, XML, or shapefile. Yeah, for example, if you click here, then it gives you options uh, which way. You have to, yeah, in which format you need to export your data set, either in GeoJSON, GPX, uh, KML, or whatsoever is available. Uh, so, th this is one of the most important buttons. Then you can also save uh, the data, the, that are the data that are selected already. So, yeah, it gives you an option to, to save uh, your, your data set. The, I mean, to save the query. Um, then the, here you have uh, the help uh, and settings, these buttons are also important. If you need assistance or want to adjust uh, timeout limits, uh, you can head to these help and uh, settings menus. Uh, now that you are familiar with the interface, let's move on to running queries. Then let's start with the first uh, query, uh, which is downloading a specific feature. Uh, in this in this video, then we, we can we can uh, yeah uh, extract um, building features. Then let's go somewhere. We are in the city. Then we can zoom in to a specific place. This place, for example. Then yeah, the smaller the higher the zoom level. Uh, the smaller the amount of data that uh, we, we, we select or we extract. If we, our zoom level is large, if it covers large areas, then yeah, it will be, yeah, it means that uh, we are going to download or select or uh, we are interested in a very large uh, data set. So uh, it has its own impact on the, yeah, the processing. And anyways, let's zoom in to make it more simple. I would uh, prefer to go to only this part of uh, the town or the city. Um, okay. Then let's go to wizard and we query building. Then click here, build and run query. It processes and then selects the buildings. If you zoom in, if you zoom in, these are the buildings that are selected. You see the buildings in the town, in the city. Um, yeah. Then you see the query also comes here. The query has come like it selects only buildings. It selects only buildings within a given zoom level then that's how it works then yeah you can export or yeah, 
if you you can also share share it anyways we can go for export for example export then we want to export this in uh, like joe json data let me show you something before, before that this is a map view if you go to the data uh, previously it was empty now it gives you information about the buildings this is uh, uh, very important information if you are interested to see like, some detailed detail, uh, information about the data set. Then we export, let's save, save it as a JoJSON file, then we click download. Then after downloading, it is already downloaded here as export JoJSON. Uh, then let's go to that data set and display it in QGIS. Then uh, QGIS is open. Then we see these are the buildings that we we extracted for that particular uh, area. Then this is a JSON file. Okay. Then we cancel this. Then we proceed to the next um, to the next step. Um, the next one, the second one, is downloading a group of features like. In the previous one, we just downloaded buildings, and now we can uh, download buildings and roads or more, depending on the your um, in, uh, in interest of just your interest uh, related to your study. Uh, so now, for this example in this video, just let's consider only buildings and roads. Then to do so, we have to go to the wizard, and then like we add this is building or or it means plus highway now it will select both build and run now both buildings and roads these uh, blue ones were not selected then i see there are some options for styles, for example, here. Um, yeah. uh, for example, for buildings, roof shape, uh, history, there are some um, metadata. And then you can also use to this uh, style so as to maybe differentiate one feature from the other uh, using color. Uh, this is not important for, for this moment. And that's it. Let's export this one. And then export it as a JSON. this is it then let's drag and bring it to yeah now it is a JSON file mind you it is a JSON file and it holds both the line and the polygon features then we add we add all we add the layers Add layers. We see here we have both the roads and uh, the buildings. Uh, the third point we want to consider is um, filtering for a specific type of feature. For example, for the roads, we may be interested in only some types of roads. So uh, you can also filter uh, features to focus on a specific type. For example, um, to download only primary roads, then we can we can uh, we can do that in in the wizard, and we write down like just a plain text highways highway um, equals primary. That's enough. Then build and run query. Let's see whether we have. It seems that I don't see any feature selected. Um, maybe I can change this one, the zoom level, so that I can have uh, possibilities for. Yeah, now we have more that we can uh, yeah we can explore. If uh, there are no 
roads or the um, highways that are labeled as primary or secondary or so it may not give us okay um, let me repeat it again yeah yeah you see these are highways and primary roads they were out of the zoom level previously now when we zoom out we yeah yeah we managed to to see those high highways which are labeled as primary so um you can yeah there, it's also possible to export only the highways if need be but yeah we, we have seen that it is it has been possible to to select a specific uh, type of feature um, um, uh, that's how you use overpass turbo to extract data from openstreetmap uh, whether you need specific features like buildings uh, roads or parks or you want to filter for specific types overpass turbo can handle it all uh, remember, uh, you can export the data and use it in GIS tools like QGIS for mapping and uh, analysis. And then try out different queries, uh, experiment, experiment with uh, filters, and uh, unlock uh, the full potential of OpenStreetMap data. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next uh, video.